Hola, hola, hola guys, it's me and I'm coming to you with a new review. Um, this product has like a love-hate relationship of the sorts, a uh, lot of mixed reviews on it, a lot of opinions on it. Um, I at first wasn't sure if I wanted to try the product, but I don't know, I still had a sparked interest in it. So if you haven't seen it, which would be kind of hard to believe, um, this is the Becca Zero No Pigment Virtual Foundation. So, wanted to try this out see exactly what it was about what is in the product what does it claim to do and in fact what does it do when you put it on and what it doesn't do so that's many do's so i got this product straight out of the box i have not tried it i haven't opened it or anything like that so that way i can see offhand first you know how it goes um, my skin is clean you know washed prepped you know moisturized all that stuff so my skin is basically ready to go um so yeah let's get into it okay so just a little fyi so you know about the product this is 36 dollars and uh it is and i'm reading the details on the ultra site so this is the becca zero no pigment virtual foundation is our new makeup and skin care hybrid to smooth and blur the appearance of skin while hydrating all day with a transparent matte finish so it has the benefits of a foundation without the pigment to let your skin shine through our new hybrid of makeup and skin care uses clear light blur technology which is made up of water releasing powders that burst upon contact to blur the appearance of imperfections for a transparent transparent matte finish so it is infused with hyaluronic acid um, it's silicone free which is very interesting um, and it controls oil all day while giving skin all day hydration this is a gel like texture so it's supposed to be cool to the touch leaving a transparent matte finish um, so they say this is perfect for days when you want to take a break from foundation uh, but you still want to perfect your complexion uh, showing the world everything you love about your face blah 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 skin is visibly smoothed out blurred out with a virtually invisible finish cruelty free PETA certified um, so the key benefits and I just want you to keep in mind that this is to blur and smooth the appearance of imperfections all day hydration all day oil control and on and non acnogenic um, the key ingredients are high, high, high hyaluronic acid, um, which instantly hydrates skin. So there are no sulfates, mineral oil, alcohol, parabens, um, animal products, uh, pigments. So this is really, really a chemical free product. So um, I just wanted to get that in there because I think that a lot of people were expecting this to work just like a foundation and you have to keep in mind that although it might do maybe some foundation properties which would be to like cover up or enhance your complexion it's not going to act exactly as a foundation because there's no pigment so it's not going to be um covering up to, in my opinion um blotchiness or redness or anything like that because there's no pigment so this to me i think would be like a bona fide um, and exactly what they're saying, this is a skincare hybrid. So it has the, the um, hydration benefits of moisturizing your skin, hydrating your skin, and then it has to, a primer effect, which it, and I, I guess this is like a bona fide, like extra, you know, super duper primer, um, because this is supposed to blur out imperfections and smooth, um, and basically just improve your skin. Um, I'm not expecting this to be a miracle product. I think that you have to go in with the mentality that this isn't really a foundation. I mean, I'm sure that that's what they named it as, and I think it was a little, little far-fetched that they would name it a no pigment foundation because I don't think that in any way this is going to be used as a foundation. Um, I think that this is a good hybrid to use um, like they say, uh, when you don't want to use primer, you want to give your face a rest. I know a lot of us, including myself, are giving our faces a bit of a rest, you know, because of the mask wearing and all of that. Um, it's also summer, so foundations, a lot of them are just too heavy or they melt off your face. Um, 
and then you know you just want to sometimes give a break to your face so I think that that is where it would benefit the most I also like the fact that this is what well, claims to be a gel like texture so if you have oily skin or combination skin um, I would assume that this would be good uh, to you because usually gel like textures are really good for us uh, oily types um, so I wanted to read a little bit more of the product and some of the things that actually Becca said um, that you can do so you know I was reading like questions and answers between customers and Becca um, and one of them you can use sunscreen after you can use sunscreen before the product um, you do not need to put a primer because this essentially serves as primer um, they also said that you can wear foundation on top of this that's very interesting um, you can wear foundation blah 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 you can use a translucent setting powder on top of it if you would like you can use a concealer on top of it now they don't say put foundation all over your face they pretty much said you can apply foundation to areas where you feel like you need it or concealer to areas where you need it so not my words Becca's words through their question and answer forum so I thought that was pretty interesting so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put it on first with the bare face see how everything looks and then I am going to try and put on um, some foundation and see how that looks and uh, yeah so let's get started okay guys so if you hear a loud noise in the background that is just my fan I had to turn it on because like I was really starting to get hot um, okay, so this includes a little tiny spatula. That didn't help, right? Because my skin is like really, really light. <laughs> but here's the spatula here. Um, so the directions are basically you're going to um, dip into the product with the spatula. So I'm going to actually take some of the product off of the little plastic cover because there is product on here. Um, and it pretty much says to scoop a pea-sized amount but I'm probably gonna put on a little more than that I think a pea-sized amount is not realistic for me anyway um, pretty much just gonna massage on your fingers and just put it on your face um, applying it and then I think it said like circular motions or whatever so I'm gonna go ahead and just take this amount here so I'm gonna take that amount and I'm going to, ooh, and that was pretty much the, the amount on that little plastic thing. I should probably, like, take a mirror or something, right, so I can see. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and take it off on my finger right here. And I'm going to pretty much, this is going to be kind of hard because I'm kind of holding, ooh, it does feel nice and tight, nice and tight, nice and cool. And just apply it on my face and see if there's any result and if I kind of feel like I need more then I'm gonna put more because again I don't think that that is really realistic so I pretty much put a little bit more I just felt like that little pea size thing was not gonna work so I'm just applying it and it does feel cool to the touch Just applying as I can definitely feels gel like but it it definitely has that uh, it feels like a primer almost that gel type silicone -y feeling but there's no silicone in it which is interesting and I think I'm gonna give this a bit to dry and see what happens okay so the product is essentially dry I'm gonna say that it's dry um, I do have a little redness because anything I put on my face with any type of massaging or rubbing motion my face is just gonna get red anyway <laughs> so that'll clear up in a couple minutes um, so far um, it does feel nice um, when you put it on it doesn't feel greasy or sticky which is a nice thing um, I did allow you know it's time to seep in and all that um, as far as blurring components, um, I don't really see any. <laughs> so 
I mean, this is what we were all afraid about, right? You know, we would get it and it would absolutely do nothing. Um, so I'm looking at my skin and, you know, it looks the same. I don't really see any blurring, perfecting anything. It kind of just feels like I put on a really nice gel moisturizer. But as far as... Um, you know, an improvement to my skin or seeing some um, bona fide, you know, change in my skin, um, I really don't see any. So I appreciate that it mattified my skin um, because I do see that it is a little more mattified. Um, and I'm, I'm kind of doing like this because I'm kind of testing to see if it's going to dry or if it's going to feel some type of sticky. Um, it kind of doesn't. I may have put a little bit too much. But like I said, I you know in the beginning I was going to do that anyway. Um, but again, as far as blurring properties go and things like that, I don't really see much of a difference. Um, but my skin does feel nice and it does feel smooth to the touch um, so yeah I'm not gonna say oh my god I'm so bummed out I'm so disappointed I was expecting this I went in with the mentality that okay this is not a foundation this is at most a a really just good primer with some skincare benefits in it um, so I want to try out the next thing which is they said um, that you can apply foundation on top or concealer. I want to see how that works out. Um, I did notice, and it's probably because I, sh I maybe could have put a little less, um, it did pill a little bit, um, but I quickly fixed that. So I think it's also going to be trial and error on how much um, you really think you would need. It says a pea size, but honestly, I, I really don't think a pea size is enough. But not so much that the product begins to pill on your skin. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the beauty blender, grab the foundation, and see how it looks with the foundation. Okay, so I have my sponge, and I'm going to be using the Wet and Fire. Wet and Fire. <laughs> Do you hear me? The Wet and Wild <laughs> uh, Photo Focus Foundation. And I'm just going to see how that would work out and I'm thinking well you know what I'm thinking maybe I should put it on one side and then maybe apply a concealer on the other side just to see how it works so I'm gonna go ahead so you see if they're saying you can put a foundation on top it's because it's not gonna be like an essential you know like a one step foundation thing I think that you really should treat it more as a primer okay guys so I just finished putting foundation on this side of the face so I have the wet and wild foundation over here and then on this side I'm only wearing concealer um, the concealer that I'm using is the Maybelline fit me concealer in the color fair if I'm not mistaken so just in case you're interested um, so again just using concealer on this side and on this side I am wearing half of my face with foundation um, and from what I'm seeing it actually lays really well um, I feel that see because I've been wearing only foundation lately um, and I kind of feel so this is how my face looks during the week <laughs> there's no foundations just concealer um, and I kind of feel like the concealer has laid down even better um, with the Becca no pigment on that's my opinion that is what I, I'm seeing I feel like this side I feel like my eye looks just a little bit more hydrated um, and I feel that it just laid down better um, and on this side where I'm wearing the foundation I kind of feel like it looks pretty good um, and you know I like this foundation overall the wet and wild um, focus concealer if you haven't tried it yet I strongly suggest that you do because it's, it's just a really overall nice foundation for an affordable price um, but I really do feel um, that my skin looks good um, it looks hydrated um, and this is the dewy formula that I'm using by the way because there there is a matte formula foundation and then they have the dewy one so I am using the dewy formula but I just kind of feel like it kind of improved my skin 
for me to be able to put makeup on it or concealer so again this is how it would look with foundation concealer okay y'all so that is it thank you for watching this review um so like i said when if you decide to get this product please go in with a mindset that this is really going to be more of a skincare primer hybrid and not a foundation this is not going to serve the same benefit of a, of a foundation this is not going to cover up redness it's not going to cover up discoloration hyperpigmentation it's just not going to do it there is no pigment you know what i mean um however i do like the skincare benefit that it did provide um it feels nice and hydrating i like the cooling sensation that it gave my skin um i like the fact that it dried up pretty much like a gel moisturizer it kind of felt it, kind of weird it kind of felt between uh, a gel like silicone substance but there is no silicone in this product which is a really nice thing and very interesting because usually um, silicone products are the ones that are going to give you you know the blurring um, tendencies and while I did not really see a blurring um, reaction going on I didn't really see it blur out or anything like that however i did notice that when i put on foundation and concealer or vice versa um i did notice that my skin actually looked pretty good when i applied the foundation so it, it like i said it really just made you know your canvas really um just nicer and my skin felt in better condition to receive the product so hopefully this will go on and I'm feeling it and it's feeling um, definitely like I have a gel moisturizer on you know if you've worn a gel moisturizer you know that it's gonna stick you know it's, it's gonna feel like a little bit sticky if you want a gel moisturizer especially if you put too much of the gel moisturizer on which is what I did um, so trial and error might have to apply in this situation if you do decide to get the product you're gonna have to trial and error on how much you can put if that sticky uh, feeling is gonna bother you um, kind of really doesn't bother me it's not really a deal breaker necessarily in my case um, but again so this is how I felt about the product. So don't take my word for it. It's up to you if you want to get it or not. I just want to throw it out there. Don't expect this to be a foundation. Don't expect this to make miracles on your skin. I just don't think it is. However, I do think that it will serve you some purpose um, in, on the level of skincare and just prepping your canvas, um, you know, more nicely um, for your makeup. So I hope that that helped and I hope that I kind of answered your questions. So, <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Take care. Be safe. God bless. And I will see you guys in the next video. Adios.